What's up guys, it's Jason here. I am starting a Saturday night on Grubhub. I just accepted my first order. It's for State House 38, right down the street. It's about $12.50. The time is 5.40 p.m. Not sure how long I'm gonna do. And I don't really have any goals as to how much money I wanna make. I would like to be at about $18 an hour, but let's get going now. It's drizzling just a little bit here, so hopefully that can translate into people wanting to stay home. But aside from a little rain, it's been a nice day. Definitely a full house in here tonight. I think I was the only one wearing a mask, but that was nice. As soon as I walked in, it was ready. On my way to drop it off now, hoping I get another order before I arrive there. All right, that is my first successful delivery of the night. I'm actually just gonna go right home because I'm about three minutes from my house. I've spent way too much time in the past going to sit in parking lots that I thought were hot spots but really weren't. It's still very early, it's only six o'clock. So just gonna go home, I'll have Wi-Fi, and then go about my night until I get my next order. All right, so I just got my second order, leaving the house now. I was home for probably about 40 minutes. The time is now 6.47, out the door. Going back to State House, actually, it's only about a $10 order, so not very much at all. And it's turning out to be a pretty slow night. Not a lot of orders have come through. I haven't rejected any. It is Memorial Day weekend. Maybe a lot of people are already out of town traveling, but heading there now. Alright, got Kimberly's order in hand. Heading over there now. All right, time check is 7.15. That's a successful delivery. Just texting the customer now, marking this as delivered. 
I'm actually just gonna head right home again. It is about a 12 minute drive. If I don't get anything before I arrive, just gonna go inside again, chill, go about my night. Great news guys, before I made it home, I did receive another order. It's gonna be for Taco Bell. It was on the way home and it's in my same neighborhood. So this is a pretty good order. I think it's about $9. I'm rolling up to Taco Bell now. This Taco Bell in particular is known for running out of stuff. I'm in a couple different local Facebook groups and people complain about it all the time. And even with me, they've ran out of large cups. Just a couple weeks ago, they had to give me like two small cups and this person had two large drinks. So I was carrying four small cups. Before that, they ran out of chalupas. They've told me they were out of ground beef one time. One time they were out of mild sauce packets. I don't know what the problem is here. Pretty long line in the drive-thru. It usually goes fast though. Hello, are you ready? Picking up a Grubhub order for Victor. You said Victor? Yep. Did you say pull up? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, pull up in a minute. Is that all? Thank you. That order took way too long. Taco Bell was really backed up. I'm gonna try to avoid them if I get any more orders there the rest of the night. But on the way here, I did get a McDonald's order. So I am heading that way right now. It's another 10 bucks and it's gonna be in this area too. All right guys, rolling up to McDonald's now is a really short drive. Time check is about 7.55 p.m. Hey, I'm picking up a Grubhub order, number 055. Okay, go to the second window. Thank you. At McDonald's, they don't even want to hear the name, they just want the last three digits of the number. As I'm pulling up here, I'm getting a uh, text message from that last customer saying they gave me the wrong address, and it's actually a different address. I'm about to respond to them, telling them please contact Grubhub for a full refund. <laughs> I hope they don't expect me to drive back to that place, grab it, and then take it to their proper address because there's no way in hell that's gonna happen. That's probably the fourth time that's happened since I've been driving, so it's not very common, but it's a little surprising how many people are putting it in the wrong address. I'll show a screenshot of this interaction though. Hello, Alyssa055. Thanks, you too. just made it. It was a couple moments away from McDonald's. I think I've delivered to this guy a few times. That was actually a female, but yes, I think I've delivered to her before in the past. I'm probably gonna be done, guys. Time check. There's a car coming, hold on. Time check is 8, 10. Probably stay logged into the app in case I get a large order, but I don't think I would leave my house for anything less than 10 or 12 bucks. We'll see how the night goes. I'm arriving back home now. I rejected two orders before I got here. The first one was Wendy's. That place has been having a lot of issues lately. I've spent way too much time there. The drive through sometimes takes over 20 minutes. They don't know what the hell they're doing. It's not that the food is good and it's busy. It just takes them so long to get one person through the place. And then the second one was Sonic. Basically the same problem, but they've always sucked. That's not a new issue. They've always been super slow. And they were both like nine bucks each. 
So made it home, just gonna go chill. Gonna leave the garage door open in case I'm leaving again, but I'm only gonna leave the house for anything over 12 bucks. That's gonna be the goal. If I don't get any more orders, we'll just take a look at numbers. All right guys, so on that night, I did not take any more orders. Just full disclosure, I am back home. It's several days later, just sitting here feeding the baby. But I thought I would go over some numbers now or I'm never gonna get to upload this video. So I drove for about an hour and 40 minutes because I did have that long break inside. I made a total of $42.35. It was a short night, not a ton of orders. So I spent about $3 on gas, didn't put a lot of mileage on the RAV4 at all. That brings me down to $39.35. And that's a rate of $22.50 per hour, doing a little bit of rounding there. So not bad money at all. When you do prime time like that on Grubhub, you can't really get 40 hours like that. But if you only do prime time, you can hit larger numbers. If I was doing like lunch every day, this hourly rate would really be closer to like 16 bucks an hour. But that's it for this video. Check out the others in the series if you find it interesting. Hit that thumbs up button on the way out. I'll see you next time. Bye.